All right, welcome back. Now, time to meet our Kajad guests in the house. Um, these now people we don't start that deba are on the back of this particular project, where they call Food Meets Ninja. Um, Jeremy, welcome, the convener, Adeoba, Adeoba Abiodu. I mean, so the house, good to have you. And we get Chinemere and Daniels in the house too. Thank you very much for coming. All right, tell us about this Food Meet Ninja. My start with Chinemere. What is the project all about? So, Food Meet Ninja is. It's a platform, it's an initiative that's, that's put together just to cope the menace of malnutrition in Nigeria. There's, there's a lot of hunger out there, people are hungry, and they are not informed. So as I as people, people see us as people who share food, but we key, key, we want to educate people, we want to empower them, we want to tell them that, oh, this is how you can do this to get food for yourself. This is what you can do to make income for yourself through food. Then in as much as we're going to do those things, we also want to share something because sometimes you need to give people things to get their attention. Mm. That's why we always share food. I actually like when you come outside and talk about the empowerment um, scheme we want to get because we, we see a lot of projects right now where they cater for providing food for people, let them eat, because mostly we get over 90 million Nigerians living in extreme poverty. These are Nigerians where they are lack access to good health, even food, clothes, and thereabouts. Now, talking about the empowerment program, what they do for them to let them know how they can fetch food for themselves, tell us in details what in these programs or the vocational training they're all about. Um, good morning. Yes, morning. I, I forgot to say good morning. <laughs> So um, the, concerning the empowerment program, the, the name is um, Foodication. Okay. So it's one of the projects under Food Meet Niger. So um, it's basically about um, teaching the children the, the essence of nutrition, the important of, importance of nutrition in, in, in the community and how it's going to benefit their, um, their health, basically. So um, we plan to start this next year the food education and it's more of like a boot camp where they can gain a lot of skills and a lot of um, you know ideas on farming agriculture basically so that's what food education is all about and by, by next year we'll, we're going to start the um, awareness we're going to visit a lot of schools in Nigeria to bring them on board because we, we, our major aim is to end um, hunger and malnutrition in Nigeria. I understand that part of teaching them how to eat healthy why are they very, very concerned? Because just behind the scenes, they talk about how sustainable it is for you to actually keep giving people food, giving people food. Well, and I like the fact that you mentioned something, say, yes, we are giving them to get their attention, to train them on things where their feet do, empowerment programs where their feet do, to actually put food for their own table. I just wanted to discuss more concerning those programs you want to get. Yes, you lecture them on eating healthy, mm -hmm. eating this and that, but how can they put food on their table? So part of the education, or what we're educating them about, is agriculture. Okay. So we're teaching them skills, including baking, stuff that mm -hmm. they can use to empower, like do stuff for themselves. So we're going to be teaching them stuff surrounding baking because we have a lot of startups that are partners, people who own small yeah. businesses, they are caterers, they have, um, what's it called, restaurants and kitchens. And we also have farmers who would be coming on board as partners for events that we'll be holding. So they will be teaching these kids on what they do and how they themselves can channel themselves in that direction so that they can become better for themselves. Beautiful. Now, talking about, because time don't really be our friend on the road on the <coughs> show, let's talk about the project we're going to get for towards the end of the year. Tell us some of the events we're going to plan already, because I know so we're going to go other states apart from Lagos State. Okay. Um, ever, we started the project November last year, and ever since November last year, we've been able to reach um, some couple of storms, and we've been able to visit um, Uyo, Usukara, we've been able to visit Ibadan, um, we've been able to, you know, we visited some storms in Jakonde, Ikoyi, there's, there's a storm at Ikoyi actually behind the passport office, we call it Agana village, 
we've been able to reach out to a lot of children. And this December, we plan on traveling to three states, um, Ibadan, Lagos, and um, Abeokuta. So at, uh, Lagos is um, our, our major um, base. Johnson Jack on the Tinubu Park. Then uh, in Ibadan, we are going to Idi Anyure and Idi Arere. Then in Abeokuta, we are doing it at Aboli Otun. That's Lafayette Village in Village. Which Abeokuta. date would you do this? So um, 14th. 14th of December is for Ibadan, Idi Anyure, <coughs> and um, the next three, the, the, the last three weekends of the of December, 14th of December, 21st of December, that's for Abeokuta, um, Laughing yes. Waslam. Then 28th of December is for Lagos, the last Saturday mm. of the year. Yes, mm. Now, now talk say, now the talk come over and over again. Say you need to like to actually reach out to a lot of children. Now, what about their parents? Okay, so when we visit slums, it's not just kids coming out to see us. We have adults among them, people who would guide the kids to come because mm -hmm. they would, I mean, okay. And then when we visit the slums, we do not just go there. We, we get their community leaders involved. Okay. So most of them are the ones that tell us that this is because, okay, for instance, for Abiyokota, we actually plan on installing a borehole for them. Mm. And this is something we're starting this month. And we, we had, the, it was the community leaders that actually provided the place where we're going to be placing the borehole itself. So we have the parents involved. We are educating them also because they need to provide what these kids need to grow. Exactly. So I yes. Agree. So we, we have community community leaders involved. We have parents involved. We have adults involved. Everybody is being carried along. Now for people who want support, because we know say one of the one challenge mm -hmm. with every Money. organization is they, they always get na, na funding. Mm -hmm. For people who want to reach out to now, we also see the vision we wanna get. Where they actually reach out to on top social platforms. Yes. So. Um, First of all, I'd like to say that we've tried to make it as affordable as possible for everybody because we know how the economy is. You can actually support <coughs> us with as low as 1,500 Naira. And you can reach us through our platform. We have our website, www.foodmissnigeria.com. We have our Twitter handle and our Instagram handle. And you can contact us with the numbers that you see. What's the Twitter handle and Instagram handle? At Food Meets Niger. At okay. Food, food Meets Ninja, Ninja. Yes. one word. Yes, yes. Food Meets Ninja, yes. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Wish you guys the very best. Uh, we're, so, we're so sorry about time. Um, yeah. really, really no day. If not, I won't really sit to that. I'm not going to tell you <laughs> more about this uh, very charitable project. Well done. On top, I'm, I wish you the very best. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Thank well, you. follow them on top Instagram, please. On top Twitter, please. And support. You can support with as low as 1,000, 1,500. Make people smile on the faces of children in this period because they really, really need to smile. Just as you, they smile for us. It go they very good to know, say, other people outside, you don't contribute um, to their smile. So please follow them. Their website, again, still there, there www.foodmeetsnigeria.com. Yes. So just follow them and see how you can actually support um, this particular vision where they get. That's why it be on top of the show for today. Uh, yes, Abby? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We will see you again tomorrow. I still remain with Balogun. You are one and only being a princess. And I remain Luchi Nobong, a car roll. To enjoy more of these our Ogunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.